Between you and I, who do you think would survive a horror movie? Me. Why you and not me? Because I run. But I'd probably watch more horror movies than you would. I could write the book on how to survive a horror movie. Okay, you would in that aspect. There's only one aspect in this horror movie, okay? We're both running from a crazy mofo. Who's alive before the credits roll? Point proven. So are you admitting you were wrong? We both survive. You're smart because then both of us can come back for the sequel. I'm a genius. How would the horror movie go if it was real life? Why are you asking? In case a killer comes after us. It would be a slasher movie. No, a supernatural movie because it'd be more scary. No, I want a slasher movie. You're bipolar when it comes to this horror movie. Someone comes after us with the weapon, but we wouldn't run upstairs like the dumbasses in those movies. We'd be running away to the nearest car, get in it, and run down the killer. But I get tired when I run. That's why we find a vehicle. There has to be a false ending. Huh? The killer kills most of our posse and we just kill him with a car. Well, we shall run him down and torture him. Would the killer be some masked maniac or would it be like a whodunit mystery? Masked, but in a ridiculous one like yours. What would you name this movie? Hmm. Would you like more coffee while we wait? Shut up, I'm thinking. Okay then. Help me out. Is that the name of the movie or are you asking for my help? Maybe both. How about help me out? And the sequel can be help me out again. Yes, like bring it on and bring it on again. No, not like them. Those two movies do not exist in our fantasy horror movie world. Alrighty then. It's time for what I think a horror movie would be like. And go. Well, it would be like a found footage film, okay? It would be us and a group of friends. Well, there's probably like three or four people because, you know, people don't really like us. And this guy with a gas mask with a nail gun starts killing these people. And then you and I obviously will be... The only two left because I mean of course we're the two sexiest people left and then somehow we'll get separated I mean of course that always happens and then when we're separated the killer comes after you because I mean you're the girl I'm dead you end up killing him by shooting him in the head with his nail gun so then I take the gun and I shoot you and it's revealed that I'm the killer's son was it too detailed maybe just a tad is it the part where I kill you yeah you sound gleeful when you revealed that part. Like you're not capable of doing the same thing if your dad was some psychopathic killer. Well played. I would call it Nail Me. Clever. And the sequel will be called Nail Me Again. Amazing. We came up with two interesting what if scenarios if life was a horror movie. Unfortunately real life is the scariest horror movie of them all. Preach sister. Filming. <laughs> there has to be a false ending. Huh? The killer. The killer kills. Huh? The killer kills. <laughs> uh? And then you and I obviously will be the only two left because I mean, of course, we're the two sexiest people in the movie. Um, is that all the time we had today?